To my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you're all doing great today. But if you're new here, my name is MC. I'm into luxury fashion, lifestyle related contents. So if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe and turn the thread bell on for new videos. something important to share with you today and it's all about buying your first designer handbags these are tips that you can consider so that you do not make mistakes in choosing and buying your first piece just like what i have experienced in the past especially on my first bag purchase so this video is for beginners who are just starting to build their handbag collection or you are not trying to collect but just want to own one or a couple of bags as a remembrance or reminder of a special occasion or significant milestone in your life. A few days ago, as I was rearranging my stuff in my walk-in closet, I couldn't help but stare and think about a particular bag that was at the top of the cabinet let me show her to you first so this was my inspiration in doing this video because of her I was able to come up with this topic and share with you my tips uh, before buying your first designer handbag so this is the Louis Vuitton Amaranth Monogram Verde Rosewood Avenue the name is very long but I can still memorize it it's in the patent leather I still love it it's beautiful because it's my first designer piece and it has a sentimental value this is already 18 years old but still in good condition though I replaced the strap four years ago so it's because of the patina in the vachetta or vaqueta leather which was annoying to me at the time i used to use this almost every day there's a packet in front let me show you what the inside looks like this is how i store all my bags so on the inside it's just one giant compartment with a side pocket right here and it's in fabric there's a louis vuitton um, tag right here and it says made in france now what i love about this bag is it's roomy as you can see and the strap is also adjustable it has three holes where you can adjust the strap according to your preference and you can wear this handheld or crook of your arm or sometimes i even wear it in my shoulder <laughs> i still have the original straps with me I kept them for reasons I don't know <laughs> so the patina which is normal and bound to happen they were so dirty and stained but I have no intention of letting this bag go for the reasons I have mentioned earlier and despite that it's already discontinued by the fashion house it's already outdated but what if this is still being carried or sold by Louis Vuitton. What if this is a classic? So that leads me to my tip number one. Tip number one, choose classic over trendy. So the one I show you, my first designer bag is a trendy piece. Before you start buying your first designer bag, browse the classic bags and check if there's anything you like you definitely want to get a bag a forever bag something that you're going to wear and 
will stand the test of time. Classic bags tend to hold their value on the pre-loved uh, market if you keep your bag in good shape or in good condition. With trendy or seasonal pieces, you never know when the trend will change. They might be on fashion today and can be out tomorrow. The chances are it will lose its value because it's no longer the hottest bag in town. Classic starter pieces are examples of uh, Louis Vuitton, Never Full, uh, Speedy, or Alma BB. These bags have been here for as long as I can remember. Or you can offer a Chanel classic flop as well. Tip number two, get a style that you love. What's your favorite bag style? Consider your lifestyle. Are you a tote bag person, a crossbody bag lover, or a top handle type of a person? Consider your lifestyle so you won't regret owning one that will only end up sitting in your closet. Tip number three, go for a neutral print or color. Colors can be seasonal, so try to pick one in nude color or with a classic print if that's what you want. For sure, you will be able to get as much wear as you can out of it. There's so many nude and classic colors that you can easily pair with your outfits. I love uh, blacks, whites, grays, beige, browns, but my favorite is pink. Pink is the new beige and it can be added into a space in a number of uh, ways to achieve a neutral effect. So for me, light pink is okay. Tip number four, know your budget. Have your mindset on what you want to purchase and how much you're going to spend for a designer bag. Sales staff will sometimes convince you to buy this or that for a much higher price tag that's beyond your budget limit. You may end up buying what you do not like and regret later on. So find a bag that you love within your budget and don't settle for more or even for less. It's important to do your research because some stores have designer bags on sale. YSL, Fendi, and Burberry have sales at least once a year, but LV, Chanel, and others never go on sale. Tip number five, consider the material. If you want a leather bag, pick one that is durable and avoid delicate lambskin. This is important when it comes to uh, how often you will wear the bag and how to take care of it canvas or PVC like the LB Monogram, uh, the May Iben or Azure are absolutely durable. Inspect the bag carefully including the hardware, glazings, cracks, you know. The quality is no longer what it's used to be. So check your bag before your SA wraps it for you. Number six, enjoy your bag. Once you spread on your first designer piece, don't just hide it in your closet and reserve it for special events only. With the amount of money you spent on your first designer handbag, it meant to be used and enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful to you. You may comment below videos you wanna see. And if you have questions, you can also leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.